So how did the experience of being a patient and being diagnosed with breast cancer affect the way you practice medicine? Well, it really allowed me to see firsthand what it's like to receive unpleasant, distressing news that could obviously affect your own mortality. And it also gave me an opportunity to see what it's like to live with pain or live with a disability that you just want it to go away <laughs> like really fast. Um, and I mean, even though I'm a physician, when you're sick, you're sick, you're a person. Um, and I had a lot of complications from the chemotherapy, which just gave me more insight into that level of suffering and discomfort. And I think I was able to use that to help understand what the patients go through. Mm -hmm. And I think certainly many of the breast cancer patients have told me that talking to me has been useful to them because you tend to sort of think, I'm the only one who's ever been through that. And you're not, you know, but you need someone else who's been through that to share it with you. Mm -hmm. Are there common dominant reactions that people have to physicians? I, I just assume that some people give physicians like a godlike authority. No, not in America. Not and in America, just, no. <laughs> No, those days are over. Have a chip on their shoulder about yes, well, and... I think today people, patients are better read. They come in, they've looked up something, they've been on the internet, they've read something in the Wall Street Journal or Time magazine. So I think they're much better informed than they were maybe 20 years ago. And I think many physicians today try to have a relationship with the patients. It's not so much we're telling you what to do, but these are the options. Let's try to pick the best plan for you. It's a mutual working arrangement. That's the way I think it's the best way. And you've seen this change 